Payroll Calculator by Spreadsheet123 is one of the really great templates that you could use in small business for your payroll need. So today we are going to introduce to you our new payroll. Uh, let me give you a brief explanation of what we have in here. So first of all, we're going to start with the Employee Register tab. Uh, template also contains, uh, sorry, Calculator also contains several other tabs such as Payroll Calculator will, where you will make and um, well, where you will input all of your uh, employee hours. Uh, the next up is pay stop that you'll be printing for your employees uh, to give on a weekly or monthly basis, depends on the frequency of your payment. Next up is year to date report where you have to copy all of your employee uh, hours from the payroll calculator, and I'll show you how in a later stage. Uh, then you've got also your IRS reports, uh, which will give you a report of what you actually own um, IRS uh, between several days. Like let's say if you need to calculate that between uh, March and April, you'll put dates from March to April and you'll get all your figures in here. And at last we've got federal tax tables that have to be renewed um, annually. Normally IRS will issue the publication 15 which you have a link to right from within the template and you can update that on uh, like on the 1st of January of every year. Or alternatively if you purchased our pro version you can always come back to our website and re-download renewed version after January the 1st. So let's concentrate on the first tab which is employee register tab today. So here is the uh, where you're actually going to put your employee names, employee ID number, uh, whether they're male or female, then hire date, then their occupation, and such and such and such. So we're going to briefly stop on the annual salary because uh, this is a little bit specific and I'll explain why. So first off, uh, we've got well, annual salary that you have to input and uh, spreadsheet will cal calculate automatically regular hourly rates and overtime rates if you uh, if you obviously have one. As you can see hourly rate simply takes the rate and multiplies that by one and a half. So multiplies the actual hourly rate by one and a half but you can always change that if you have any different settings in there. So Again, for some employees that get paid salary instead of hourly rate, it's slightly difficult, but it's also uh, something that you could work with this calculator, work out with this calculator. So the rest of the, obviously in the rest of the columns, you just need to put your employees de details uh, as such as how often do they get paid or how many vacational or sick leave hours they have um, allowed, well, they've got allowance uh, per year. Um, also annual holiday hours um, and such and such and such as you can see you've got every setting that you'd possibly need in here. The next tab is our payroll calculator where you will be working most of the time. So you can set the dates. Uh, let's say we are like Adam Jones is getting paid between 7th of um, August um, and sorry uh, uh, 8th of uh, July and uh, 21st of July and as you can see from the settings it gets paid semi, uh, semi uh, monthly so we can put hours for uh, semi monthly hours here and we will work out his tax now if you don't know exactly how many hours it will be for, for specific calculation you can always work this out by taking employee annual hours which is normally if, if, if employee gets paid, if employee is a full-time employee, it have 40 hours per week multiplied by uh, 52 weeks. It will work out as 2,080 hours. So let's show. Let me show you that is um, 40 hours times 52 weeks. That will be. Oops, the cell is slightly bigger than I expected. So let's just transfer that to any smaller cell. Let's just put that in the corner here. Here, so it's 2,080 hours. Now, semi-monthly, that means if employee gets paid twice a month. We will divide this number by 12, uh, sorry, 24. And that is the number of hours that our the employee who works, who gets paid semi-weekly, uh, will get on his in his calculations. So let's round it up to 86.67. 86.67. 
So based on the basic salary per hour that employee gets, it will work out. Let's just get rid of this taxable compensation. The gross salary will come to $2,726. The rest is up to you, so obviously if you need to put additional hours for holidays or um, uh, for public holidays or vacational hours or sick hours or even overtime hours, you, you can do it here, but as you can see our employer uh, employee actually are exempt from overtime, so we won't be using this cell. Now any taxable compensations that you have to uh, provide to your employees will need to go here and in the amount of... Uh, in basically in the form of the amounts and not any hours or so. Uh, same goes for non-taxable deductions. So if you have any deductions that the employee needs uh, to be deducted for, you input that here. So let's say uh, we leave it blank for the sake of the example for now. So for now what we have here is our gross salary for uh, two, well, two weeks of work comes to this amount. Our federal tax allows, allowance according to the settings on the employee register tab, which we already have here. So let's just go one more, one more time. So e employer is sta uh, tax status is exempt. Or we can put that as a single. Uh, the, our employee has uh, two federal allow allowances. Our employee wants to put 4% into his 401k. We've got no other deductions for now for our employee. The federal st and state payroll taxes are such state tax for, for a state, any state, for instance, like Delaware or any other one, let's say. It's 4.63%. Then SDI comes to 0.9%. We've got no other local taxes. We've got Social Security, which is 6.2%. We've got Medicare, which is 1.45%. Uh, we've got insurance that employee asked us to input and uh, deduct from his salary automatically. We can put it here. We've got no other deductions. Then it's employee address and the Social Security number. So we mainly have to worry about these things here. As long as, as long as this part is set in the right and appropriate way, our payroll calculator will actually go through and automatically calculate everything for our employee. So here we've got federal allowances. As we said before, it's got two allowances. So it takes that from the federal tax table. He pays twice a week, so it's twice the amount, which is 168.8 .8 times 2, comes to... 337.60. Now, 401k is 4% uh, of the employee's salary, which is the here. Then we've got no other deductions. Then we co it comes to federal taxable gross. That's where the tax is going to be collected from. So, federal tax is calculated here. State tax is calculated next to it. Then SDI, some states may have that, some states may not. In the states where you don't have an SDI, you can simply input zero instead of putting any percentage in here. Then local tax, as we said before, if we don't have a local tax for this particular employee. Uh, local tax uh, could be a city tax, could be any other taxation that uh, needs to be deducted from the actual salary. Se uh, Social security is over here, Medicare is here, insurance deductions as employee asked us to input that in are here. So his net pay for this particular period will be $1,863.59. Now, <coughs> same goes for the rest of the employees. Now, what we need to do in order for our year-to-day report to start working, we'll just take this part, simply copy it by shortcut is control C on your keyboard then transfer yourself to the year to date tab put that at the very bottom of any entries if you have them and then simply click on uh, control V or paste it from the menu if you like straight from here then you have to put your employee codes here so one two three and we have all employees in our year to date report 
There is another option to copy it, and I'll uh, show you how to do it once again. So you can actually select entire section from here to here. Again, copy on the uh, to copy it. We can click here, and then go to here to date tab, and paste special. Can't find, can't seem to find a pay special here at the moment. Nope. Paste special, paste values only. That's it. So all values are copied and your year-to-date report is now uh, does now contain all new entries from there now once you've done that you can go ahead and print your pay stubs for each and every employee here by selecting them from the drop-down list uh, unfortunately you'll have to do it one by one for every employee and only after you've printed your pay stubs you can go ahead and delete this information from the payroll calculator in order to prepare it for the following week or following period whenever you do your payroll so these are main things what you can do here um, in the next few videos that we are preparing for you you will be able to actually see um, and uh, how particular things um, can work and what can be changed we also have another uh, uh, spreadsheet which is pretty similar to what you see here except for one thing except that it's made specifically for taxation in California as California has completely different rules of taxation uh, to any other states in the US so uh, uh, if you have any questions you can always ask our support team by emailing them to uh, support at spreadsheet123.com alternatively uh, wait for another videos to see how other things work and if you have any questions, please email them to us. We'll be uh, happy to address them. Thanks for watching. Bye.